Just what can you say about these two seniors? You've talked about their times running out. You know it. Do they know it, you think? Yeah, I think they do. And uh, um, I've said it, Kelly, I don't know how many times when your two best players are probably as good as the two best players of the opponent you're going to play. You can only play five. So when you have two special players, you always have a chance to win. And uh, it looked slim at times, but um, I just thought it was a, 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 a game for the memory books. I thought it was just a, if you watched it on TV or you were here live, or you were able to have the luxury of coaching. In the game, it was, I think everything played out perfect. This guy behind us hobbling. Gene Clavel had four fouls. We took him out and sat him for about four seconds and then put him back in. And uh, you know, when you got somebody like him again and, and Emmanuel, you got a chance. Do you feel like Gene just kind of willed you to victory there in that second half? I mean, he couldn't miss at times. Yeah, I didn't score a basket. I know that. So that was a, one of the better performances. Under the circumstances, when you look at everything that's happened to this program um, from the beginning of the season to where we find ourselves now, I mean, it makes it an unbelievable storyline. How hard was it to kind of keep the team in it when they were down by 13 early in the second half? I just kept urging them and saying, you know, have we gotten our game on the court yet? I mean, we were, we got away. I thought the first 10 minutes were perfect. The tempo was right. Um, we had to get away from it. We had kept moving the ball around and we were tired. Um, you know, obviously we needed to start taking some quicker shots. And again, Gene just took over and Emmanuel took over. And, you know, everything had to fall right for us to win that game and it, and it did. And I feel bad for Coach Fisher, but I mean, half their guys didn't shake our hands, and I don't know if half our guys did. I think everybody was stunned. It wasn't out of disrespect, because I think if two programs respect each other the most in this league, it's Colorado State and San Diego State and vice versa. So I think everybody was just kind of stunned from the coaches. I know I was. I was just sitting there going, what just happened <laughs> to Coach Fisher? What just happened? Um, we, you combine the games with him and I, it's almost embarrassing how many him and I have coached. You know, it reveals our age a little bit, but that's one of the um, more memorable games for both of us, I'm sure.